everyone, this is Ravnius Blog, and welcome to another TV episode review series. So today's TV episode I'll be reviewing today is the Gifted episode RX. And before I get into my thoughts about this um, episode, I would like to remind everyone that new videos will be posted up every Sunday. It could be Sunday morning, Sunday night, or Sunday evening, depending on when I can get the videos posted up. And if you happen to see any videos posted up during the week, that must mean that there was a bit of TV show or movie news that was released during the week that I wanted to cover. So those would be considered special videos. But new videos will be posted up every Sunday. And also, Every Monday, I will have my TV episode roundup reviews where I review all the TV episodes I review for the week and I listen from worst pick of the week to best pick of the week. So expect the TV episode roundup videos to be posted every Monday. So now let's get into this episode review of The Gifted RX. So what happens in this episode is that we find out that the father, Reed, ends up getting left behind when Blink is trying to um, teleport the Strucker family um, away from the Sentinels uh, or the um, government agencies. And... Um, because Blink was trying to teleport um, all the family members in that one go, um, she ends up going into some kind of um, seizure or um, convulsions and her powers ended up going out of control as she keeps opening up portals that leads to the police. And um, in order to stop um, Blink from getting, um, in order to um, keep Blink's powers under control, Kate and Marcos end up having to go to the hospital to get some medicals the medications that will help Blink um, remain calm during the whole thing. And then meanwhile, we start to see um, other storylines such as Reed um, being interrogated by the government agents about the whereabouts of his family and Reed trying to um, not tell the government agencies where his family is at. And also we see um, Lorna, um, now we actually see her um, we know that Lorna is actually Polaris in the comics, and now we finally get to see Lorna's green hair that she has in the comics. But we also see Lorna um, getting torture in prison and how she, um, they ended up forcing to, um, how the prison guards end up putting this sort of um, necklace on um or yeah, some kind of necklace on Lorna that prevents her from using her powers. So Lorna's getting torture in prison the whole while. And um, that's pretty much the gist of this whole episode. Um, a lot of things going on in this episode, but that's pretty much what's going on. So what are my thoughts about this episode? Um, this was just as good as the pilot episode. Like, it's still really exciting. Like, the pace seems, like, really um, fast-paced. But it also gives us time to really um, develop the characters and to see the situations they're put in. Like, I actually feel so bad about Lorna when she um, gets thrown into prison and she's being tortured by all the prison inmates and she can't really use her powers because they put these um, power necklaces on her that prevents her from using her powers. And you see how Lorna's, like, struggling um, in trying to stay alive in prison. And then it's also really upsetting when you find out that she's actually pregnant and to see these inmates beating her up, while, um, even kicking her in the stomach um you know it makes me wonder if she's going to have a miscarriage in the future episodes if the baby doesn't survive or if she doesn't survive the um what's going on in prison and then um it was also interesting seeing what happened to reed in this episode as we found out in this episode that reed got left behind when the mutants and his family were trying to teleport um away from the um sentinel the um the government officials who were going after them and then we see how they're um trying to interrogate reed and trying to get some information out of him about the whereabouts of his family and i like how reed is like trying not to tell the government about where his family is at because he doesn't want any harm to them um any harm to come to them um and only time would tell to see if reed um actually would actually tell the government officials about what happened to his family or not in the future episodes and then um probably the best part of this episode was like seeing um how blink is starting to lose control for powers because she's in some kind of seizure or something like that after using her powers and um it, it also allows like some bonnie between um kate and um the mother and um, Marcos and you see how Marcos is trying to tell Kate you know things are hard for the mutants in this universe like we have to we're, we're forced to like steal things from the hospital we're forced to um, grab things from stores and stuff like that because people keep treating us so badly and um, we have no choice but to um, take stuff on our own and then he's like asking Kate you know how would you like it if your kids were like um, being um, held at the government would you stand up for them or would your husband stand up for your kids if um, the government took them away because they were mutants and i like that um exchange between kate and um, marcos because you get to see that 
um, the Strucker family starting to be more sympathetic towards the mutants. And it looks like they're going to try to um, help the mutants out in the later episodes. And I can't wait to see what the Strucker family is going to do in the later episodes and see how much they're going to help out the mutants and um, how their kids are going to eventually um, make a difference in the later episodes. So I'm really excited to see that. So overall, I gave this episode 4.75 stars. And, um... It's just a really great, greatly paced episode. My only problem with this episode is um, there were a lot of things going on. Like you have Lorna's story, you have Reed's story, then you got the Strucker family story. So a lot of that going on in this one episode. But other than that, I think um, this episode was very well paced. Um, I really like the character moments between Kate and Marcos. And I hope that we get to see more character moments between all of these characters in later episodes. And I'm really um, loving the series so far. And I'm still um, curious to, what, uh, to know what happened to the x-men i hope in them make an appearance i'll probably be um stating this in every review of the gifted i do but i seriously want to see the x-men again so this was a great episode and i gave it 4.75 stars well that's my review on the um on the gifted rx and have you seen this episode and did you enjoy this episode did you hate this episode please feel free to comment below and don't forget to follow me on twitter so i can keep you updated and new videos i post up and also like my facebook page rabbit's blog's best comments well, hope you enjoyed this video. This is Ravnius Blog, and I'll see you later.